Welcome to the starting lineup with Andrew Wiebe. I'm Jason Seguini. We have now been through three weeks of MLS Fantasy. So, Andrew, what have we learned? Well, I think I've learned that defense wins championships. It's a lot more fun to go creating your midfield and forward. Those guys are going to have the sexy plays. They're going to score goals. But look, if you have a solid back line, and those guys can be, the mo you know, frankly, the most consistent right. players in fantasy. So if you set that up, you can save a little money on them and spend it on the other guys, but they'll be the ones that really take you far. Okay, for me, it's simple. More trades equals more price fluctuation. You might want to be getting your trades done earlier in the week and avoid losing money on players that everyone else is getting rid of. Before we uh, get to fan questions for this week, though, we want to get some notes in there. Philadelphia, Portland, Toronto all on a bye this week. Next week, another three-bye week for Columbus, Chicago, and D.C. That's going to affect a lot of fantasy teams out there, so plan accordingly as you move forward. Starting in goal, Clint Irwin has been named the starting goalkeeper. Only $4 million. Are you going to get him on your team? Well, I, think, I don't think I'm going to get him. My goalkeeper situation is set right now, but if you have a little fluctuation there, you're not sure who you're going to play, he could be a good option over the next few months with Matt Pickens out. But I would not pick him up planning to use him this week. They go to L.A., not a good matchup for Clint Irwin. It is an L.A. Galaxy team, though, without Robbie Keane because of international duty. So he is on my team for this week. We'll see what happens with his price if other people pick him up. Uh, moving on, but staying in Colorado, Edson Buttle, and Danny Mwanga might be returning to the field this week. What does that mean for DeShoran Brown, who's owned by over 9% of owners in fantasy? Well, it probably means a drop in playing time for certain. The one thing I would say is Edson Buttle's injury issues are not likely to go away quickly. That swelling in his knee, that's not something that just goes away immediately. So I think you can hold on to him for the next few weeks. He's an inexpensive guy. Maybe keep him on your bench. If you need that .1 or whatever it may be when you, when you sell him, Get rid of him now, move on. Maybe you can pick him up for a cheaper price later. I actually, again, talking about the LA Galaxy, back line without Omar Gonzalez. I actually like Deshaun Brown this week. He's on my team. I'm going to go. I think, you know, he's got the speed on a counterattack to snatch a goal. It's a little bit of a risky play, but I like him this week. We're going to move on now to fan questions. And the first one comes from Chase. He asks, is Will Bruin injured or not? No, Will Bruin is not injured right now. He's not on form, that's for sure. We know this guy is going to score goals if he gets in front and gets service. Right now, I think the issue is he just doesn't have his ideal partner. You look at last year, Kalen Carr as his running mate really allowed him to thrive. Does not have that now. Omar Cummings, though, he's on the road to return, played 61 minutes in a reserve match against FC Dallas. So when he comes back, I think you start to see Will Bruin on the uptick as well. Okay, Dean N. asks the question, I need a midfielder between 6.5 and $9 million. There's a lot of guys available in that span, Andrew. Who are you going with? Well, I think you look at matchups here, and, and Montreal is one that I would go with. They're 3-0, obviously, right now. You can't expect that to continue. But Davey Arnault, Patrice Bernier, both well-priced guys that can really get you some points. Then I look at L.A. You talked about Robbie Keane. Mike McGee likely to move back up top at $8.5 million. He's a guy that could be productive for them. And then Jackson in, in, in Dallas at 7 and a half. A very, very well-priced player, and he was dynamic last week. He had a goal, got that call back for offsides, looking for more of that again this week. All right, I agree with you. Mike McGee could get the look at forward, but remember, once Robbie Keane comes back, I think you're looking at a Mike yeah. McGee that's going to get pushed back into the midfield. I think his value drops. I actually got rid of him this week to sell high. Um, I think his price could be coming down in the coming weeks. Moving on, um, Neil Hampton asks, Paolo Tornaghi or Troy Perkins, Andrew? Well, this one's an easy one for me. I think you go Troy Perkins, unless you think you can spend that 1.1 million very, very wisely. Paolo Tornaghi, he is not going to be in goal once Sean John returns. So if you need to fill, fill a hole right now cheaply, he's your man. If you're looking long-term, Perkins for sure. All right, Luke Dodd asks, what are the chances J Jack McBean gets a lot more playing time now that he scored a goal against Chivas USA? Well, I think he was always going to get more playing time this year. This was going to be a kind of another step forward in his development. But if you're looking for him to start games, that's probably not going to be in the cards long term. Perhaps this weekend, maybe because Robbie Keane is gone, but I think a substitute role is what you're looking at for him throughout this season. All right, one final question. Stefan asks via Twitter, uh, should I take a 12-point hit to my fantasy team this week, or should I just use my wild card? Well, I think you, I think you take the 12-point hit. Let's be honest here. If you weren't prepared for this one, there are going to be times later on this year where your roster is going to be tested. The Gold Cup 
all these other international fix fixture dates come to mind. So I would save it, take your hit now, plan ahead, make sure you don't put yourself in this position again. The one thing fantasy owners should know though is there will be a second wild card given to teams after the international transfer window towards the end of July. So that might factor into your decision. Reminder for everyone, you can tweet at MLS Fantasy if you have any questions for Andrew and I uh, for next week's edition of the starting lineup. And until then, good luck this weekend in your fantasy games. Enjoy the MLS matches. We'll be back next week.